Hello, boys and girls. Mrs. Lewis here. I'm going to read you a story today called Apple Trouble. It's written by a man named Reginald Kamel and Michael Terry. <gasps> Hedgehog had just finished building her winter nest under the old apple tree. Not too large and not too small. Just right for a nice long winter sleep. I know how she feels. I could take a nap right now, too. Suddenly, a juicy red apple landed on her back. Ouch! Squeaked Hedgehog. Plop goes the apple. Do you think she was hurt? Poor Hedgehog. She curled into a spiny ball, hoping it would fall off. But when she uncurled, the juicy red apple was still there. And why do you think it was still there? Have you ever seen a hedgehog? They have these prickly spines all over them. Why do you think that apple didn't fall off? Hedgehog tried to squeeze herself and the apple into a beautiful new nest. But could she get in? No, she could not. Not with the apple on her back. The nest was too small. Oh dear. Poor hedgehog. Squirrel scurrying past with an armful of brown nuts stopped to help. Stand still, I'll push the apple off, he said. And he pushed, and he struggled, and he heaved, and he tugged. Do you think it came off? What do you think? But the juicy red apple stayed where it was. Worse still, Three of Squirrel's brown nuts got caught in hedgehog spines. So now she had a juicy red apple and three brown nuts on her back. Poor hedgehog. Oh dear, wailed hedgehog. Winter is coming and I can't get into my nest. What will I do? Try rolling on your back, snorted pig, trotting up. That'll get rid of it all. Do you think so? What do you think is gonna happen when she rolls on her back? Hedgehog threw herself on the ground, her little legs paddled in the air and she twisted and wiggled and rolled. Does it look to you like those things are coming off of her back? Does it look to me like they're coming off of her back? Has it all gone, she asked, hopefully, scrambling to her feet. Pig shook his head. The juicy red apple and the three brown nuts were still there. Hmm. So were a small green pear and a crumpled brown leaf. Oh dear, sighed Hedgehog, rolling her eyes. But up in the sky, Sailing towards Hedgehog, she saw a colorful piece of paper. Oh no, she cried, this way. And that, she ran as fast as she could, this way. And that, drifted the paper. And landed right on her back between the apple and the three brown nuts. It's not fair, cried Hedgehog, who had now had a juicy red apple, three brown nuts, and a small green pear, a crumpled brown leaf, and a colorful piece of paper on her back. I'll never get into my nest. Hedgehog pattered to the pond 
and gazed at her reflection in the water. Hello, hedgehog. That's a lot of stuff on your back, croaked the frog. Humph, I'm trying to get rid of it, sniffed hedgehog. Dive, said frog. That will wash it off. Hedgehog dipped a foot in the murky water and then dived. Do you think it's going to help? What do you think? See if you're right. Splash! Her friends watched Hedgehog bobbing up and down. The juicy red apple, the three brown nuts, the gr small green pear, the crumpled brown leaf, and the colorful piece of paper were all still there. So was a pink water lily. Glug, 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 gurgled Hedgehog as the others heaved her out of the water. She did look funny. Poor Hedgehog. But Hedgehog, but Hedgehog did not find it funny. Stop laughing, she sputtered and stamped her feet on the ground. Where am I going to sleep? Pig and Squirrel looked worried. So did Frog. I do have one last idea, oinked Pig. Squeeze through that hedge over there. That'll brush everything off. So Hedgehog closed her eyes and squeezed herself through the thick leaves, but didn't get everything off her back. Hmm, what do you think? Based on what we've already seen with Hedgehog, every time she tried to get something off, something else would stick. Do you think that everything is going to come off by squeezing through that hedge?